Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hackshooter here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you're doing good. So in this video, let us find out how to get the hidden attack surfaces for XXE injection. Yes, there are some hidden surface attacks, basically, how do you find it out? Okay, so how does this hidden surface work? So basically, uh, there will be some payload within the XML format, right? So payload in a sense, let there will be some data transferring from client side to the server side within the XML format. But some smart developers will use uh, uh, this one in such a way that the data itself will go in a normal way from client side to the server side. But when it is taken to the server side there, uh, the data is kept in the XML format and it is processed in there itself okay so that's how uh, things happen when it comes to the uh, you know hidden surfaces but uh, how do we identify those things and the next one is how do we exploit those things after identifying it okay those things we are to, we are going to learn within this lab so open this lab exploiting x include to retrieve files okay so let me open this in a new tab. Meanwhile, let me read the question. This lab has a check stock feature that embeds the user input inside a server side XML document that is subsequently parsed. Of course, here he is directly telling us, you know, within the check stock feature, uh, there is something the data is getting embedded uh, onto the XML document within the server side okay but how do we basically identify i will also tell you that because you don't control the entire xml document you can't define a document type yeah this is true we can't define a document type uh, where exactly uh, because where exactly this particular input uh, goes and sit uh, we don't know that particular thing right so that's the reason we can we cannot do that uh, to launch a classic xxe attack uh, yeah, that's what uh, to launch a classic XSC attack. Uh, we don't know where exactly this, uh, uh, you know, uh, the XML document goes and sit. Okay, to solve the lab, inject an X include statement to retrieve the contents of uh, yeah etc password. And there is some hint here. By default, X include will be uh, will try to parse the included documents as XML. Okay since etc password isn't valid uh, xml you will need to add an external attribute to the x include directive to change its behavior yeah we'll do that as well okay so let us go to this place oh what has happened let me open this again all right so go to the view details and again hit on this check stock okay so go to the repeater uh, sorry not to the repeater proxy and this is that one just take this to sorry take this to repeater not to the sequencer uh, hit on send and now if you can see yeah obviously here you need to observe that we don't have any xml uh, you know footprints right here we don't have any the anything syntax but uh, let me give something called temp and hit on send and it says invalid data simply but uh, if you remember the previous labs somewhere uh, we have given something uh, uh, where you know uh, there is a proper syntax okay so this one this syntax so when this particular syntax is not yet given uh, it has given some error right so that's how we need to find so here before temp let me put an ampersand and here a semicolon okay and let us encode this control u okay so that it won't consider it as a one more uh, you know uh, parameter okay so and hit on send now and now you should see that entities are not allowed for security reasons why will we get this particular message this message will be we will get only if the entities are being submitted and if the entities i mean if the data that we provide here if this is getting submitted within an xml entity then only we will get this kind of messages right that means here itself it is directly proved that the data that we are providing right here it is going and sitting into an xml document okay 
it, it is going and sitting in a document type all right so what are we going to do so in this place we need to define the x include but how do we define that x include so there is a predefined uh, document uh, type something like i mean it's not a document type but it's a predefined x include so this is that one so this is how you need to put a predefined one and after this uh, uh, there is some we need to uh, particularly mention the x include call this uh, just again put it over here okay and what are we going to do is we are going to control u just url encode this whole thing okay and now if you see uh, we are giving a 4 4 is basically just uh, just a normal thing okay just nothing uh, uh, in the developers language if you will understand uh, i think here this is a bet better way to you know uh, explain this okay so if you can see uh, we here there is an x include and this is a standard one where uh, where we include it and uh, here we are uh, calling that and parsing that as if it is a text and we are providing that particular protocol uh, within the etc password okay uh, we are telling that it is an etc password so to get the uh, i mean this is a href okay so go back here and uh, hit on send yeah now you should see that invalid product id and uh, adding to that we have this particular file data so this is how simple you can uh, get the uh, you know this thing but uh, the main task is how do you get this particular one so it is like when you are doing performing a pen test uh, uh, when you are doing some fuzzing attacks so you should keep something like this within your list so that you will be you we can identify in each and every parameter where uh, this xml is bit getting parsed okay uh, uh, or else you will not be able to understand if the xml if there are anything uh, uh, any xml uh, kind of uh, request going uh, from the client side or not you will you cannot identify right uh, directly so that's the point anyway i think congratulations you should be solving this lab by this time oh sorry here yeah congratulations you have solved the lab and have a great day bye bye